Neophobia is a fear of anything new. In its milder form, it can manifest as the unwillingness to try new things and break from the routine. Technophobia is a fear of advanced technology and complex devices, especially computers. Automatonophobia, the fear of something which falsely give you the sense of sentient being. For example, wax figures, dolls like Annabelle, humanoid robots and digital assistants like Alexa and Siri. Collectively, all these phobias give rise to the fear of artificial intelligence. And psychology says we fear what we don't understand. Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of CA Sansar. I am Neha Dutta, CE final student and today I am here to demystify artificial intelligence and about discussing its impact on accounting and auditing as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Before understanding anything, it's very important to clear the preconceived notions which we have in our mind. So the most common myth I came across regarding AI, that AI works like human brain. Well, that's not true. There is nothing obvious and common sense for AI. AI taught us that the processes in the human brain are really complex and hard to recreate at least in the foreseeable future. So what is AI? To understand it better, let's go back to the time when it was first coined by John McCarthy in 1956. He said, in a simplified way, artificial intelligence is a way of making the machines use languages, abbreviations and take the kind of actions right now reserved for the humans only. Let's dive deep and understand AI's potential in accounting. AI helps you maintain the data entry accuracy and substantially reduce the human error. Second, AI helps you in getting the real-time data and the real-time data helps you get real-time solutions. For example, you have your monthly and you all are very very well aware of your monthly and quarterly procedures. AI will help you get all the numbers very soon, accurately. It will consolidate and merge all the numbers and will serve you so that you can make your decisions super soon. The sooner you have the numbers, the more time you will have to decide what to do with these numbers now. Next, AI will help you in data analysis. Now I have an example for you. You might be wondering that sometimes you, you are watching a YouTube video and within few seconds, your whole feed is filled with a similar kind of videos. Now YouTube make the best use of data analysis. YouTube get an idea, okay, this is a kind of video you, you want to watch. So your feed is filled with a similar kind of videos. So that you sit and keep scrolling your phone and keep scrolling through the videos. This will help YouTube to generate revenue. YouTube share this revenue with their content creators. So that content creators feel motivated to create more content. And that's how the whole chain of data analysis works like. Now let's understand AI's potential in auditing as well. You all are aware of digitalization, right? You know, every digital transaction leaves a footprint behind. You can easily track by whom the file has been accessed and when it was last accessed. Great. Second, PwC has come up with a software named GL.AI. This is actually a fraud detection software. This, is, this software is designed in a way to replicate the thinking of human experts, the expert auditors. You know, we as auditors have time and cost constraints. It is uneconomical for auditor to check each and every transaction in depth. So what this software will do, this software is designed in a way to check every transaction, every user, every amount, every account, and then find the unusual transaction among all the transactions. So you can find the fraud and the material misinterpretation or material deficiencies at a very sooner stage. Uh, there's a lot happening in background. This is not just one thing. There's a lot happening. Big fours and all other similar kind of firms are coming up with great AI initiatives. 
that day i was reading about something that eva is coming up with uh, airborne drones now the drones will be used to do the stock audits drones will count the number of inventories they'll keep a check on the movement of inventories and provide a report to the auditor so that an auditor instead of going and spending time on the physical stock verification they'll have more time on the analysis part that's great also uh, there are so companies that are planning to automate their administrative task in respect of auditing there was a software that is about to launch that will help you as an auditor in reading all the leasing and investments and similar kind of documents the bulky documents which we have during our audit now what this software will softwares will do they'll read all the documents and then fetch the relevant information and provide you this will save your time and this is going to be a game changer so these were some good good things about ai so while my research was on on the topic trust me i came across some dramatic headlines you want to know headlines right the headlines were like robots will soon do your taxes bye bye accountants and accounting jobs are screwed now also can i ai replace accountants and what's the future of accountants oh my god these headlines they scared me a bit okay so uh, let's come together and remember the time jab bahi khate haath se likhe jate the right so can you imagine from the time when ceas used to tally the ledgers from their own to the time now when even the simplest accounting software can do this for you my point is ceas tab bhi the ceas aaj bhi hain jobs tab bhi thi jobs aaj bhi hain so these dramatic headlines forget about them ai will transform not replace your job there was a study which said that ai is set to create more jobs than it will replace but yeah there's a one more fact that no matter how advanced technology comes into place but that's of no use if you don't have a professional or expert to take care of whether the technology is working properly or not you know being a human and having a human experiences having the characteristics of a human like empathizing helps you in decision making for example if you give machine a task to kill the world hunger problem the easiest way machine will come to kill all the lives on planet and then there will be no question of hunger ever again but that's obviously not what we want so being a human and having the experience thinking and characteristics of a human helps us in making better and reliable decision making machines work only on the part of data we humans feed into it but we humans are not restricted to the information that is given to us only that's why we have the concept of professional skepticism because when we as auditors go at the client place we do not blindly rely on the papers or the accounts that's been given to us we try to think beyond that we have that skepticism in mind to go a step deeper and to understand what's happening actually so machines are not going to replace us for sure there's a point i want to make that what's the point of scaring from the technology look to conclude my whole point what i whatever i have said so far change is the only constant parivartan hi prakriti ka niyam hai aur prakriti tabhi tak jeevit hai jab tak usme parivartan hote rahe same goes with our profession to being a productive asset in this profession we need to upgrade our skill set we need to be adaptive to the technology instead of being scared from the technology instead of having the technophobia we should come out we should adapt the technology as soon as possible you know manpower plus technology is going to be a superpower i repeat myself Tech- manpower plus technology is going to be a superpower and the amalgamation of both can reap the fruitful results so are we ready to take up the technology are we ready to take our profession to a next level and work in amalgamation with the technology 
that's going to be really exciting so it's so uh, being a young aspiring professionals it's our duty to be adaptive to the new changes and technologies as soon as possible i hope you are considering the considering the point i'm trying to make right now so if you have any query any opinion and any request for the next video list them down in the comment section down below thank you for patiently listening to me see you soon in the next video till then bye bye